Oh, oh mister. You all grew up now. It's your last bit of mummy gone. Won't let this moment pass us by. And happy Thursday, I think. Um, today is the the beginning of Pip's fourth day of being born, being here and being with us. And so far, it's turning out to be a pretty good day. We have to be very quiet. I think the reason it's been so good is because I've woken up first. I've got some sort of makeup on. Got my hair kind of done. Good morning, it's all this morning is so far turned out to be a really good morning. I think if, well, part of the reason is that I've woken up first. So I've had an opportunity to put a little bit of makeup on, I've kind of done my hair, I've got dressed like first thing in the morning, which I haven't done in a few days. And that's kind of like put me in a good frame of mind. But I think also Chris kind of helped me to get a good chunk of sleep before midnight last night, which was really early, like quite early in the evening. But it meant that I had a bulk of sleep then. So even though I only put the little one down at half past three, I was awake at half past five. So I got two hours sleep kind of overnight, but I got it over dawn as well. So I went to bed in the dark, put the baby down, and then got back up again in the full sunshine this morning. So I feel like I've had a whole night's sleep. First job of the day, once he get, decides to grace us with his presence and get up, I think it's going to be to wash some clothes. We haven't done any baby washing yet, so I've been googling it this morning, what temperatures to use, what products to use, fabric softener, yay or nay, and that I'm going to get that in this morning. It's like half past six now, so it's going to be dry before lunchtime. I've never put washing in at this time in the morning before. Shep looks a little bit confused. He's probably wondering why I'm awake. In fairness, he was the first one in the house to get up. But then again, he always is. I don't think he's really slept since the baby's been home. I think kind of because he's been on guard dog duty, he just hasn't had a moment to himself. But he seems to be coping pretty well. My first use out of this this morning, because oh, we haven't actually had a cause to use it yet, as I haven't been away from him for long enough. But like now, I've been downstairs alone, and I know he's fine. He's next to Chris, so he's fine anyway. But with this little baby, I can come up and get the little one when he starts crying before he wakes Chris up. Which is also a nice, nice thing to be able to do. So newborn washing. We're going to use Fairy Non Bio, pretty much a standard, should be a nice safe bet. The big question is do we use colour catchers? Because I don't really want to. But equally, there's a lot of bright whites in here. And then a lot of other colours too. And I'd kind of like to save them. But I guess he's not going to be in any of these clothes for very long. Hopefully that means they're not going to be washed too many times. Maybe it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm going to forego fabric softener this time. I don't think we're going to need them. If it does need to be rewashed in fabric softener, I can always do that later on today. And then there's this one, which is really dark. Which kind of puts pale to the thing. I might just take this one out, wash the pale stuff, and... Hope for the best without a colour catcher, I think. I've read a few websites. I've read Purcell's own website. I've read um, the WikiHow website. And I've read How Stuff Works. They've all got kind of conflicting views on how things should be washed. But I think we're going to go with 40 degrees because that's what all the clothing says. Even though I think it was How Stuff Works said it should be done at 60 to make sure you've killed off any bugs that are on there. But realistically, I think that's what the detergent's for and it should have do its job anyway, even if it is a mild one. Plus, that's what the Prodoso Fairy says to use 40. I don't see why I should have to use 60. If you've got any alternative views to what I'm doing, please let me know. Not gonna be offended, I'd love to know what you think. Leave your comments. start on getting stuff done this morning. I've got way delayed in my plans for the day. 
We just managed to get the washing out on the line because Chris was waiting to record it. it, had to be recorded in just the right way, which meant that I had to wait for ages for him to get ready. Anyway, we are now sorted. I can move on with my day and I am ready for some lunch. Unfortunately, it's a bit hit and miss as to whether this little guy is going to wake up. It's been two hours since he last fed. Now, it, based on the last couple of days, that means he should be up within the next five minutes. But based on the last 24 hours worth of averages, he could have another hour to go before he wakes up. At the moment, I'm just happy that he's content and quiet and I have two hands to do stuff with. Well, apart from holding you guys, but once I put you down, then I'll have two hands again. Okay, looks like he might be waking up soon. This guy is one attentive big brother. Basically, whenever he starts waking up, he's here just in case he's needed. So it turned out I did have time to eat lunch. And look who's awake now. Hello, mister. Hey, you. Yes, Shep, you're good too. You ready to have your nappy changed? That is one a full belly of milk, isn't it? I love the slight confusion on his face when he hiccups. This little guy now has a full belly, an empty bladder, and he's looking pretty happy with himself. Hey, do you think you might want to go out, mate? I think we are going to try and take this little dude out for a coffee. And just wanted to show you his outfit of the day, which is the very first thing we bought for him. Oh, I'll have to pick him up. It's the very first thing we bought before we knew he was a him, when he was still just a tiny pip. And it's like the only thing he's got at the moment that actually fits him. Don't cry, buddy. He needed was his daddy. That was the problem. I was in the middle of telling him about his lovely outfit. Oh yeah. His yeah. outfit of the day. I don't dare to put him down. No, you can't move him. You keep him exactly there. Oh, mister. Unfortunately, I don't have any food for Maybe you. Maybe on camera. <laughs> no photo. <laughs> no photo. It's just said that that wailey cry can only mean one thing. It sounds like a wet nappy. And as he saves all of his wet nappies for daddy. Oh, look. Where's your... Where's the clump? There it is. Oh, oh mister. You're all grown up now. It's your last bit of mummy. Gone. Oh. Oh. What are you going to do now? It's a big boy now. It is. Fully independent. Don't have to worry about it so much anymore. That was a bit of a pain. Yeah. Right? Oh. Let's get this wet nappy changed. You don't like yes. that. Freedom. Three, two, one. Go. I can't remember where I got up to about telling you about the little one's outfit before he started crying and bringing the house down. So I'll start from the beginning. This is the outfit that we picked up for him when we very first found out that he was going to exist. It was the first thing we bought, it was the first thing we saw and we completely fell in love with it. It has been hanging up in our bedroom for the last nine months. And as of today, he finally fits in it. And I must say, it probably fits in the best of all the items we've put on him so far. It's gorgeous and it makes him so snuggly. I think it was from Mother Care, but we bought it way back in like October, November or something last year. I love it and I love him. Now he is quiet and contented again. It's time for us to go out and see if we can get some coffee. Oh, little man, are you looking forward to your very first trip out in your push chair? Come on, you. Let's go. We haven't been out for coffee in about a week, so we're going all out. Is that actual coffee? No, I've got hot chocolate. I was going to go for coffee because it's like the first time I can have coffee in a very long time. But how amazing is that hot chocolate with a 99 stick in it? Which one of the cakes is mine? This one's yours, that's maple and pecan. Slice and mine is a chocolate cheesecake brownie. Sorry, it's amazing. Yeah. And your coffee's really boring. It's just black coffee. Sorry. Haha. <laughs> Sat here with a little one feeding, and it turns out that he's had a bit of a poo, a poo explosion. 
that is leaking through his clothes. Um, a couple of layers of clothes, and we're not exactly in a great place to be changing them. The first pool explosion that I've ever seen of his had to be here. I know the only things that babies do are basically feed and poo and sleep. We've been out all about 15 minutes and having timed it really, really well, and he still managed to do all three really quickly. Chris has just gone out to go and change him. And he's gonna have to completely change him. He's gonna have to change his vest, he's gonna change his outfit and everything. <laughs> what a nice quiet coffee we were coming out for. Now it's all part of it. It's kind of part of the fun, I suppose. You know these things are gonna happen and you just kinda gotta deal with them when they do. While I wait for them to come back, I get to enjoy my hot chocolate in peace. I basically haven't had a hot drink, I think, since Pip was born, generally because I'm holding it every time we make one. This is no exception. It's a lovely warm chocolate, but that's about it. Unfortunately, all the whipped cream off the top has now melted into the chocolate. I know that's a bad thing or a good thing. So I do like to eat the cream off the top. This way I've got a really, really creamy chocolate. It's pretty amazing. So he's now back and clean and fed again. And very, very hot. He is very hot. It's really, really sticky in here. Depend on this one. It's another new shirt. He's not worn that one yet. He's worn almost all his clothes now. Yeah. <laughs> this is like his third outfit of the day. A big outfit of the day. This is my view right now. Who needs any other form of entertainment? It's just too cute for words. Hey, how are you? Finally get to see into your eyes, even though you are starting to drift off now. <laughs> I think I'm just going to squeeze it out, aren't I? Hey, Walk up. Do I shout for that? Oh, hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> there. You're as bad as Chef. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're as bad as Chef not saying hello. Oh. Just walking past the estate agents and we saw this sale, which is a property that we've worked on. So this one here is my actual drawing. That's really cool. Jen has managed to get about an hour and a half sleep, but unfortunately I need to wake her up because this little one has woken up right on schedule for, an, <laughs> for his dinner. He's so hungry. I've just changed his nappy. But that's not enough to satiate him. You need some food, don't you? I'm gonna go and get mummy. I'm gonna go and get mummy. Yeah. Right guys, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I need to go and get, well I need to go to the supermarket. There's a few things I need to try and pick up. So I've reverted to the backup vlogging camera. So this one here can uh, have the other camera in case she wants to vlog anything while I'm out. This is gonna be really weird because baby is just in here. He's kind of having hiccups again. He's just been fed. He's oh, there we go. More hiccups. And the supermarket is about 13-ish miles away and it is going to be the furthest I've been without the baby. I don't care so much about you. I've been, no. I've been loads of places without you. But this little one... In his whole life. His entire life this will be the furthest I've been away. I kind of don't want to go. I kind of worry that if something happened, not only is that bad enough, but it's going to take me at least 20 minutes if I was like in the car when there was a problem to get back. That's if I don't get stuck behind a tractor or anything stupid or someone doing like 30 mile an hour. But needs must. Got to brave it. Kind of, I feel right now the way I did when we first had to put him down and take our eyes off him. Yeah. And it was like, is he going to be okay? You know, we just sat next to it, but will, 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 we be okay? will he be okay? I kind of feel like that now. It's like... I don't want to go, but I know I need to go, but I don't want to go. i got to go. Particularly because we need one or two things for him anyway. It's kind of weird vlogging with this camera again. It's so light. It's so small. And being able to see what's in shot is fantastic. To know that if I do this. This. That he's in at the same time as me. Oh, boom! We're in together. It's, it's awesome. It's just a shame it's not exactly... Well, it's nowhere near as good as the other one. But hey-ho. It is what it is. I'm going to take it and um, she might better vlog something. 
<laughs> but, but, if I'm, have to. If I'm with a backup camera. Right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Mwah. I love you. I love you. See you in a bit, mister. Look after your mum, buddy. You're gonna look after your mum. Oh, Shep is intrigued as to what's going on. Look at his funny bump on his head. And the midwife said it'll go down in a couple of days. Maybe we should turn his head the other way so it doesn't look so obvious. Aww, bit of an egghead on this side. The other side it looks perfectly fine. Like when he's lying down because he's got so much hair covering it. But on this side it looks a bit of an egghead. Sorry mate, if you're watching this back when you're older, I don't mean it to be cruel. Just a statement of fact. We love you loads. And you're super cute. Especially with your hiccups. Boop. Be careful, I'll see you in a bit. I have successfully managed to change nappies and feed this little guy. He is now super sleepy, but he's just starting to wake up. And Chip's helping. I was planning on watching a bit more of my TV show, but Chris has been calling me like, I don't know, every two minutes or something. I have, I think he's called six times since he's been gone. And between that and the amount of text messages I had to reply to, because I had a nap earlier on, I've just been on my phone continuously since he walked out the door. And now he's just called. Oh, he's light. It's like the third time they've gone off. Turn living room light to 50%. You got it, boss. Continuously going off on me this evening. It's really... Oh, I'm falling over. It's really annoying. They went off before, right in the middle of changing his nappy. The whole house went completely black and I was like, great. <laughs> now I have a naked baby on a dining table in the dark and I have to get these lights back on. I didn't have any way of turning them on. I had to like put one hand on his belly and then stretch the other hand over to the light switch so he didn't roll off the table. Not that he can roll yet. Anyway, yeah, so Chris has been calling me and I've got nothing done. He has just called to suggest we have a McDonald's though and it's really late but we've been, I've been feeding so much today like this evening I think he's eating like every hour or something I'm exhausted and I'm starting to get pretty hungry so I think I probably need it like I need that extra burger just to give me the energy to get through the night and keep feeding it's great having an excuse I'd really like this guy to stay asleep a little bit longer though it turns out that was harder than I expected. I was about 16 minutes into my trip, six miles away from home, and I had to call her to make sure everything was okay. It was really difficult. I can't believe it. I didn't expect, I'd, I think the problem was when I left the house, the baby was crying. And I know the baby wasn't crying for me because he didn't know I was leaving, but it was kind of hard to leave a crying baby. Particularly when I know if I could like pick it up and change his nappy, it'd be fine. But anyway. It seems like Jen got it sorted. Everything's happy. I'm pulled up. I'm in the house car park. Hopefully, I can get everything I want. I always find it amazing how hard it is for people to put their trolleys away after they've been shopping. There's this one and this one. I'm going to take this one so it doesn't bash into my car that's just there. Oh, look, and another one. And I've just seen the car that's pulled away, leaving that one there. Seriously, there's another one abandoned there and there. The trolley park's just here. These things are normally £1.50 each. The, some places sell them for a pound on their own. Here, two for £1.50. That is a bargain. Unfortunately, I'm going to get really fat. Part way through folding the clothes that went out on the line earlier on today. But now, I have this little guy in my arms again. This... Uh, you can't see him. But duty calls. I can no longer fold clothes. Hello mate, I'm back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you even know so was gone? You've just been asleep the whole time? No? Yes? Oh, you're gonna start crying. You're gonna start crying. There we go. Oh man, I'll leave if you want me to. I was trying to get through folding the rest of this washing from earlier on today, but Chris has just got back with a burger for me. So the rest of this is gonna have to wait. You're looking after that baby, Shep? Chep, are you a good big brother? I'm making sure that baby's not sad. The main and pretty much only reason that Chris had to go out tonight, and he had to go out as far as he had to go tonight, was because we decided we need a steriliser. And 
that was the only place he could go. He has turned up home without the steriliser because they didn't have any and instead he has come back with this. This town's so 